Once you've powered down the tablet, you can begin prying around the sides of it in between the glass and the plastic silver bezel. It's clipped around all of the sides, so you'll want to carefully work your way around the tablet, making sure to avoid damaging buttons and ports until the back sorter just starts to fall off. Once the back starts to come loose, you can begin to carefully pull it off, making sure not to damage the clips in the process. Before going any further, it's a good idea to detach the battery. Sliding an ESD safe tool underneath the wires and lifting it up slightly will begin to unseat the plastic clip portion of the battery. Doing this should allow you to slide underneath the clip itself and lift it out of place. To remove the charge port, the green tape that holds the digitizer and the charge port connections to the board can be removed. The ZIF connector can then be unclipped and the ribbon for the charge port can be removed. There will then be two Phillips screws that anchor a backplate onto the charge port. The screws and the backplate will need to be removed. The clip for the front capacitive navigation keys will need to be unclipped next before the charge port can be unadhered from the section and removed completely. With the new charge port flex, you'll want to start by laying it into the same area as the previous portions of the port were in. Once it's sitting in flat, the plate and two Phillips screws for it can be replaced to help secure it in. The clip for the front capacitive navigation keys can then be reset at this time as well before sliding the flex for the charge port into the ZIF connector and locking it in. The green tape can then be replaced before reconnecting the battery and replacing the back housing. When replacing the back housing, you'll want to work your way around all sides of the tablet, making sure to fasten every clip, finishing the repair. 